Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you're having a great day so far. I'm Brittany and I am bringing you how to take your makeup look from office to holiday party. Um, it only takes a couple steps. It's really simple. It's really easy. You can use whatever products you have. You can skip a step. You can do all the steps. Whatever works. So this is my after. So this is my holiday party look. And it doesn't matter what you have wearing in the day. This will work for you and it's really simple and easy. So if you want to see how I got this sassy holiday party look, then just keep watching. Bye! Okay, so this is my before makeup. So it doesn't matter what you had on before. If you had no eyeshadow, if you had a little bit of eyeshadow, you can just totally build with these steps onto whatever you have. So I have a little bit of eyeshadow, mascara, some face makeup and a little bit of lip balm, so I'm just going to build on top of that. So a quick and easy way to take your look from day to night is to add a little bit of shimmery eyeshadow. My favorite shadow that is so universal is Satin Taupe by MAC. You can tell it is well loved here. I've taken it out of the package, so don't mind that. Um, it is a beautiful, like pewter, bronzy, taupe color, and it just looks amazing, and if you kind of blend it out onto your eye, it looks like you've put way more work into your eye look than you really have, so who doesn't want that? So what I'm going to do is take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to put this all over my lid. Okay, so I'm just going to pack that onto my lid. Just build up the color however you want. And then I just take that into the crease and just blend that back and forth in the crease of my eye. So the crease is your socket. And we just blend that back and forth. Just like that. Same thing on the other eye. This color is so universal and it really goes in with the fall trend of metallics because it's just a beautiful wash of color. So all over the lid and like I said, blend that up into the crease. And depending how adventurous you are, you can just add more color, less color, whatever you are comfortable with. And if you do not have this shade, a lot of brands have this kind of bronzy, taupey pewter shade, so really just use whatever you have. There, so that's all over the lids, done. Now I'm going to take a little brush and I'm just going to take that same color and put it underneath the lash line and I'm just really messily running that back and forth along the bottom lashes. This step really helps to kind of smoke out the look and really make it look like your eyes are done and you've really put effort and time into your eye makeup. So I'm just putting that all the way back and forth just like that so it's already a little bit more dramatic okay the next step is eyeliner um, this really takes a look from day to night really easily you can use whatever you're comfortable with I'm going to be using black just because I think that definitely adds some drama and, and it's perfect for a holiday party but you can use a pencil you can use liquid you can use gel whatever you're comfortable with I am going to be using liquid liner and this is the physician's formula liquid eye pen and it is incredible and it's from the drugstore. I am just going to do a thin line so just lining my lashes really tight to the lash line like so and you can leave it like that or you can add a little wing whatever you're comfortable with so I've just winged it out just a little bit so I've just dragged it up from the bottom and brought it up into a nice little cat eye flick. But again, just adding a thin line will make all the difference. You don't have to do a winged eyeliner. Okay, so the top eyeliner is done. I've just done a little thin cat eye. Okay, so now I'm going to take a black pencil eyeliner. This is NARS Larger Than Life Pencil in Black. This is a really, really good one. It is waterproof and will last a long time. And you don't, you can skip this step if you want, but I'm just going to put this in my water lines to really make it dramatic and smoky and like I said look like you put way more effort than you really have. So I'm just going to run this kind of right here in my tear duct area build that up there. Just think makes things really dramatic and a lot more defined. And I kind of just smudge that into the lashes like so. 
adds a lot of definition. Okay, the next step is just to put a little bit more mascara on. If you don't have any mascara, put some on now. If you already had some from the day, I just like to add another coat, maybe even give your lashes another curl. So I'm just using the Arbonne mascara. This is my favorite, and I'm just kind of adding up the drama on my lashes. Don't forget the lower lashes, it does make a big difference, especially for nighttime. It will look really put together. And we can all make funny faces like, look at that face. I don't know why women make weird faces when they're putting on mascara. It's a natural thing, I guess. Okay, now moving on to the face. Again, another way to add some drama, add some like sparkle for a ho holiday party is to add bronzer. So I suggest using one that has a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of glow, because you can use it kind of all over the face as a blush and it'll just make you look like you're glowing from within. My favorite is NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm almost done this one and like I said, I take things out of the package and put them into palettes. So I'm just going to use this on a big fluffy brush and I'm just putting that all over the face kind of where you would get a 10. And I'm skipping on blush because we don't have time for that today. We're going straight from the office to the party. So I'm putting this all over my cheeks, down the side of my face, underneath my jaw, and on my temples and my forehead. So it's kind of like a backwards E. That's where you want to put them. And like I said, bring it right onto the apples of the cheeks because that's really going to work as a blush for us today. And we're going to do a bold lip so we really don't need to add any more color because let the lips and the eyes be the focus. So just right on the cheeks, forehead, underneath the jaw, and then I'll just amp up your face makeup. One more step for the face is to add some highlighter. Like I said, again, you'll just look glowing, you'll look sparkly and glitzy for a party, and you will just look really well put together. So I've just got a small tapered brush here and this is Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is my favorite highlight. You can get it at Rexall if you're in Canada. And I'm just gonna pop that on the brush and I just put it on the high points of my cheeks. So just right about there. And what I'm also gonna do, once I get the other side, bring it down the bridge of my nose a little bit and on my Cupid's bow. Just really bring some glow to the face and looks like you have more makeup on than you did for the office. I'm also going to highlight underneath my eyebrows with the same thing. Just dipping it in, putting a little bit underneath there. Again, it will just make everything look lifted and glowy. Taking a little bit of that highlighter on my finger and putting it on the inner corner of my eyes. So this one product is doing three jobs right here. Just on the inner corner there. You can use as much or as little highlight as you want. I just love it. Perfect. So that is the face and the eyes done. So it's still well put together. It's not too over the top. You just look really well dressed. Next, lips. The easiest way, you can skip all of these steps if you want and just do a bold lip. It is the easiest way to make yourself look well put together and ready for a party, no matter what the occasion. So whatever bold lip you are comfortable wearing, I am choosing a bright red lip. But if you don't want to do that, you don't have to stick with a dark plum or a dark pink. Just something a little more amped up and a little more in your face, right? So this is my favorite. This is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. So this is a matte stain. So what it does is gives you a nice matte look, which again is way more wearable than a big glossy red lip, but this will also last through drinking, eating, talking, kissing, whatever you want to do in your party. This will survive the night. So it's kind of like you put it on and you can forget it. Who doesn't want that at a party? And it has a really tiny applicator, so it's really easy to apply without lip liner, without a brush. You can just kind of put it on straight from here. First, before I forget, you're going to want to take off the lipstick you had from the office if you were wearing any. So I'm just using a makeup wipe to wipe off the color that I had going on earlier. Voila! So I'm just going to apply this to my lips. Now 
And the brush tip works really well. You can really get, I can't talk and put this all at the same time, but you can get right into the corners of your lips with this. And that is the lips, and this red will last all night long. So that is the face done. If you want to zhuzh up your hair a little bit, make it more voluminous, make it more messy and texturized and sexy for the party, one surefire easy way and affordable way is this Garnier Fructis Deconstructed Texture Tease Spray. So what you want to do, shake it up, lift up your hair and just spray it all over. This just adds volume, texture, messiness, gives kind of your hair a little bit of life, kind of acts as a dry shampoo, so if your hair is a little bit greasy from the day, it'll just zhuzh it all up. I suggest flipping over, shaking it all out, coming back, and you are ready for your holiday party. <laughs> it's that simple. Like I said, you can use one of these steps, all of these steps, and... Yes, how to take your makeup from day to night. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week. Bye!